whether they are or whether they're not, the truth of the matter is that, is that as long as we have elections, uh, you've got to pay for the elections, and uh, it's and contributions is how you do it. So I don't, I don't know uh, how you go about it without uh, making it available to everyone. I'm sure they're following the rules, whatever the, the limits are that are applicable to it, but uh, you'd have to uh, contact my finance representatives on that. For this campaign, I'm about representing all people, and to me, all people mean individuals, businesses, organizations. But when you start getting out-of-state tax money coming here to influence, to me, to buy justice, to say, we want this person or that person, it raises a red flag to red herrings to me. And I think it needs to be examined. And I'm not saying anything except that the bank's campaign has not taken any PAC money from any individuals as far as this goes for justice. Of course, over the years we've gotten, you know, I've only had one fundraiser in 20 years. Understand that? One fundraiser in 20 years, if you go back and look at my, now I've got some checks in, but they were unsolicited. But I'm just saying to you that look at what, I want Mississippi to have the best justice that they can have, not, not the best justice that is being influenced. Mississippians, what I've learned in 20 years in the legislature, Mississippians like to elect their leadership. <laughs> And I'm for whatever people of Mississippi want. I've always favored, as a legislator, electing judges, electing representatives, electing municipal officials, and so forth. So as far as I'm concerned, at this point, until convinced otherwise, I'm still for electing the leadership of Mississippi. I've been around the, the table on that, and, and I'm going to evaluate when the campaign is over. And interestingly, in Mississippi, at the Supreme Court, since I've been on there, We've either had four or five justices that were initially appointed by the governor. And I think you'd find the same statistics on the Court of Appeals. Uh, governor Barber, in his last two years, was uh, appointing roughly the equivalent of 5% of the trial judges a year. So he was making uh, uh, four or five appointments a year. Uh, so I would say, even with the elections, we do have a lot of opportunities for uh, whoever the then governor is. I've served with appointments from Governor Fordyce, Governor Musgrove, uh, Governor Barber, uh, and I think this is a this is a good opportunity for people uh, to come into the judicial system uh, besides the elections, and I think it works well. Uh, do I like uh, raising money or having run? I do not, and I you know I'm trying to find a different way. The problem is every time I look at it, I also think it's important to have accountability. And I don't know how you do that without elections. So I'm going to evaluate it uh, very carefully at the end of this. You know, prior to 1998, uh, in the Joel Blass campaign, uh, Supreme Court justices, there were very few contest contested races. And this, this highly partisanship of charged uh, big money campaigns has, has occurred since then. And I, 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 you know, I wish we could find a way to get away from that, because I sure don't like it. Let me say initially that I think it, it, it's good for judges to run nonpartisan. We don't need to, to be a party nominee, if you will. We don't need to represent any particular interest. Uh, I have, uh, uh, Mr. Banks has been endorsed by the Democratic Party. I've been endorsed by the Republican Party. Uh, I think that's just the way the politics is lining up. I don't can say nothing more than that. I, I want all the endorsements I can get. Uh, in fact, I would have been happy to talk to the Democrats, but I didn't get a chance to. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, I think it's a fact of life. I think, uh, uh, the, uh, I think it was Judge Wingate that, that uh, ruled that they could be involved in making endorsements and that, that they being political parties. So that's a fact of life. So we're, we're in the, the vote getting business and, 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 I'm, and endor I'm looking for endorsements. As a legislator, I think it's a farce. And as a candidate, I think it's a farce also. But uh, it is what it is. It's the law, and I'm following the law. Uh, I had association passed with the Democratic Party, which I had to uh, remove myself from. Um, and this election is, as you stated, is being in, in this party has a door to you, that party has a door there. Uh, you know, I'm like Judge Waller. I would have talked to the Tea Party had I been invited to talk to the Tea Party, but they didn't. They don't seem to want me. But. Uh, Earl Banks is who he is, and he's running nonpartisan as the law requires him to run.